I was talking to Diet Cokehead about raspberries and I mentioned these ones that I had planted in raised beds that are technically a container variety. Now some of them didn't do as good as this one even though they were all planted at the same time. And let me tell you why. See all these piles of dead weeds? Well, and even over there, <laughs> weeds just about took over this bed and I just didn't get around to it. And this one had grown so tall so quickly, the weeds couldn't really grow around it. But these other ones, the weeds kind of took over and they didn't get as tall. So now I got them, uh, the weeds cut down a couple days ago. Hopefully they're going to take off. But what I'm starting to notice is I need to go back in on my records and see when exactly I planted these. I think it's been three years. I think this makes the third full year, so it would have been, you know, two years ago, a little more than two years ago I planted them. But as you can tell, they actually have a lot. Can you, can you even see them? They actually have a lot of baby raspberries all over the place. And I, I should, I wish I could have got this one. They were actually in bloom. Some of them are still in bloom. But, uh, you know, last year I got probably a gallon of raspberries out of these six plants that were only about, well, all of these are bigger than they were last year. So they, they just really produce a lot of raspberries for what they are. Um, they're a container variety. They're thornless. They are called, and I knew I was going to do that. Um, wow. I'll, I'll put it on the video right here and also down in the comments. Maybe even in the title also. Literally, my memory is just not very good lately. From all the chemo and radiation treatments. But I wanted to give a follow-up video. I'm already like two and a half minutes into this. I didn't intend for it to be that long. I just wanted to give an update on these because I think I did do a video when I initially planted them. Um, anyways, so they've been working out great. And I'm really happy that I bought them. Um, I bought them at the end of a year when they were like on sale. So I got six for what one of them would have cost earlier in the year. And I planted them, and I don't have to do really anything to them. Now, you're supposed to come out and move these around. And if you see any stems that didn't turn green, clip them off. And I, I maybe had one or two a year. Like, right here's one. Here's a good example. And it's actually just the tip. You can kind of see right there that this goes down and gets to this tip. But the tip itself isn't green. So I should have clipped that off about right there. And that's what you're supposed to do to take care of these. And I hate that I can't remember the name of this variety. You know what? I think I saw a sticker in there. Couldn't get lucky enough. Oh, I could. <laughs> Bushel and berry raspberry shortcake. As soon as I saw the bush on berry, I remember the name of them, but good thing I saw it in there just a minute ago. Anyways, that's the update. Um, when I first planted them, they were just literally two or three twigs. So they are two full years old, and uh, they'll be three years old this October, I think it was when I planted them three years old in October. This one here is a good, it's waist high and I'm a short person. I'm only uh, five five and it's waist high. So they're, they're pretty close to three foot tall and about three foot wide. So the first one is, you know, if, if that's the edge there, it comes over to here. Then there's a second one goes from there to there. Then there's a third one that goes from there there and that's kind of the way both sides are you can kind of see it over there there's three and there's also three on this side that's a five foot by five foot raised bed 
and uh technically it should have been nine foot by nine foot but i didn't want to mess up this is over my orchard which is a mess right now and all of the beds over here are five foot by five foot so anyways that's all i wanted thanks for watching god bless you god bless your families god bless your homesteads